All right, now Samsung's default phone application offers some amazing features. In this video, let's check them out. All right, now you see when I make a call, the contact number is visible here on the top. Now you may not want this to happen. You may not want this number to appear right on the top, especially someone like me who is creating a video. I don't want the contact number to appear here. You see, I have to blur this number so that it is not publicly visible. Now we can actually disable this feature or we can actually hide this contact number visibility on the top. For that, what you need to do is tap on this three dot button on the phone application, go to settings under caller information, we've got this option called show contacts phone numbers. Now I will just disable this and go back and let me dial the same number again you see the contact number is now not visible on top here it just shows the caller name and not the contact number that's a very thoughtfully done feature now let's move to the second one let me tap on the three dot button here and go to settings again now here we have got a fantastic feature on the galaxy phones called call background let me tap on this. You see, it says select a picture or video to show when you make or receive calls. Now the background option is available right here at the bottom. I can tap on this. Now here I can select an image or a video as call background. Now here you see, I've got a video from AR Emoji. I also have a default video here. I can go to the gallery and select any video that I want. Now let me go to the gallery and pick any of the uh, photos here. You see, this is how the call background would look when I make or receive a call. Now let me just make a call here. You see, this is the background here on this particular call background. That's a beautiful feature which we have got on Samsung's One UI. Now, let me tap on phone application again. Let me tap on three dot button and go to settings. Now let me tap on caller information. Now here we have got the profile picture size. We can set a larger or a smaller profile picture depending on your requirement. I will tap on this. I can select small or large. You will be able to see the picture size changing right here. You can see the name will appear on the left and the picture will appear on the right. Whereas when you select large, the uh, picture will be the profile picture will be right below the name here. Now let's say you are using any application on the phone and playing a game or doing some important work. And when you get a call, you don't want a full screen notification or you may want to customize the call notification whenever you get a call while using an application. For that, what you can do is just tap on the settings again for on the uh, phone application. Scroll all the way down, you will see this option call display while using application. You see when I tap on this, I get three different options here. Full screen, small pop-up or mini pop-up. Now if you don't want that call notification to take a larger portion of the screen, you can select mini pop-up which is the right option whenever you are using an application or a playing game on the phone. We also get this option, keep calls in pop-up. After calls are answered, keep them in the pop-up so that you'll be able to use the other application. You can go home, you can do whatever you want on the screen when you select this particular option. Next, in the settings, we also have an option called quick decline messages. Let me tap on this. You see, whenever you want to disconnect a call, you can simultaneously send a text message. We've got three preset texts here. Please text me. Can you call back later? I'll call you back. If you want to customize and add more uh, messages, you'll be able to add them right here. Next one is disabling the call waiting option. If at all you are engaged in a call and someone calls you at the same time, the caller will get uh, the call waiting uh, a tone on his or her phone, notifying them that you are on another call. Now, if you want to disable it, you can do that by just going to the settings on the phone application, scroll down to see the supplementary services. Here, we have got this option call waiting. By default, this is enabled so that the uh, caller would know that you are on a call. Now, if you don't want that, you can just disable this so that they get a ring, which indicates them that you are not on any call. Now, this is up to you. If you want to enable or disable this, depending on your requirement, you can do that. Next important feature is blocking calls from unknown numbers. Let me show you that. Let me tap on the three dot button and tap on settings here we have got this option block numbers and on the top you see we have got block calls from unknown numbers if you want to block all the calls from unknown numbers you can do that but i don't see anybody doing that uh, this may not make sense to a lot of people out there but you can select this option block spam and scam calls now enabling this feature will block all the calls from unknown numbers uh, I don't see the use of this for a lot of people. However, you can use this particular option here, block spam and scam calls. Use caller ID and spam protection to block calls from telemarketers, fraudsters, and other unwanted callers. Or you can add a phone number here, which you want to block. Now you can select a phone number by directly going to contacts here or recent uh, calls or messages. 
and block them right here. The next important feature on the Samsung Galaxy phone's phone application is the call recording. Now, call recorder is not available in uh, many regions. Uh, very few countries have got this call recording option. And in my country, this is available. And the best part is on One UI 6.1, we can also record the Wi-Fi calls, which was not possible earlier. Now, you see in the settings, we have got this option, record calls. I've got auto record calls option, or I can only record calls that I want whenever I'm on a call. I can tap on the three dot button to get the option and record the call. Now keep in mind this is not available in all the countries. You can go ahead and check this call settings. Uh, if it is available in your region, you will be able to see call recorder option here. The next feature is cool. Whenever I open the phone application, you see it directly takes me to the dialer. Even if I have selected recents and close this application, when I go back and open this application, it will again go to the keypad here instead of going to the recents. Or for that matter, if I selected the contacts and if I close the application, when I tap on this app again, it will take me back to the uh, dialer here, which is fantastic. Now to do this, you need to enable a settings because otherwise, uh, whenever you go to the recents and close the application, it will get you back to the recents whenever you, you open the application. Now to enable this feature, all you need to do is tap on this three dot button. You don't have to go to the settings. Right here, you will see this option open to last viewed. When I select this, it will open to the last viewed. Uh, let's say I have uh, last viewed uh, the recents and close the application. And when I open the application again, it will take me to the last viewed. Now, if I don't want this, what I can do is I can just go to the uh, this three dot button here. Now you see we have got this option open to keypad. I can just select this. Now, whenever I go to the recents or contacts and close the application and open the application, back again you will see it will take me to the uh, keypad right here now the next feature is in the contact section let me tap on contacts here and tap on the three dot button here we have got this option contact settings let me tap on this now here you can see we have got a very useful feature called show frequently contacted now this will show who you have contacted frequently in the last 30 days which means when I enable this and go back to the contacts here you see we have got favorites which have already set and I can also see frequently contacted contacts uh, uh, this will be very useful to make a quick call to the people who I frequently contacted in the past. All these are my professional contacts which are showing up right here and I don't have to search for them or uh, you know set them in the favorite section because I'll also have my uh, personal contacts here as favorites and for other frequently contacted option I will be able to get the access right here if you have enabled this particular feature. The last feature I would like to discuss about is the widgets associated with the phone application. Now when I press and hold on the home screen and go to the widgets uh, we actually do not have any widgets associated with the phone app as you can see uh, the phone app is not at all showing here on this widget list however the widgets are available for the contacts application as you can see I've got contacts app here. We've got four different widgets available here. We, we can set a single contact, direct dial option, direct message, and we can also set the direct dial option. Let me just press and hold on this and uh, set it on the home screen. The moment I drop it, I get to select the contacts here and I will be able to get a direct access for these contacts which I've set on the home screen. Now, these are some fantastic features which are available on Samsung Galaxy phone's phone application. And I'm sure many of the Galaxy users out there are already aware of it, but if you're new to Samsung, and if you haven't explored these options yet on the phone application then this video is going to be very useful for you guys so go ahead check them out and let me know which feature is your favorite feature on phone application drop a comment and while you do that be sure you subscribe to the channel to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this informational thanks for watching my name is Salian signing off cheers bye bye